Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, well, some folks wanted an update on Buddy. So I'll tell you what I know. All right, I just finally heard from the vet, which the man is snowed under because some of the places have actually closed. Well, you know how last year I told you about how he hurt his elbow, I thought. And I, a vet came, picked him up, and to, or the, a lady did, and a vet x-rayed him, and another lady brought him back that evening. And they said it was soft tissue damage. Nothing, that, you know, needed to be done. It'll heal. Well, it turns out this whole shoulder, and I can't believe I missed this, unless it was just so fast growing, Could the Wi-Fi have done it? It's my whole hand can go around it. It's a tumor. And it's so hard. I thought it was bone. And I've been texting with my friend. I think she just texted back. And she said her daughter's dog, which must be a large dog, because she said she's had the same thing. For five years. Except hers is on her side. And once they gave her pain medicine. She was her old self again. And that thing's been growing for five years. And he wants to take x-rays next week. If I can get me a ride. I'm sorry about that sun. I see my letters reflected. That is so cool. The letters on my shirt are reflected in here. You may be able to see it. Jesus loves you and so do I. How cool is that? Anyway, we want to see how far inward it's growing. And he wants to look at his heart. Let me tell you something. This is a heads up to all you pet owners. This so-called good-for-your-dog, grain-free dog food is not good for your dog. What it is is the grains, not corn. I wouldn't recommend corn unless you can find a dog food with organic, no GMO corn in it. But they need grains. So that would be wheat, barley. I don't know if rice is a grain. Is rice a grain? I meant to look that up. Hey, buddy. Hey, you getting up? Well, come on over here. See, he's getting up. Can you see him? Come here, buddy. There he is. He's getting up. Come here, bud. Come here. Aw, oh, you must feel pretty good. He's a-smiling. Anyway, about the grains. He said they contain an essential ingredient I think he said taurine but I gotta look that up but he said whatever I said I've had my dog on see I was I was uh, diagnosing him with congestive heart failure because of how he was panting he would wake me up at night panting he'd get so short of breath so he wants to do an x-ray to see if that tumor is impinging on the lungs or I guess if there's any more internally. And he was so reasonable. And I want to get that done because if he ends up needing pain medicine, then he'll be my go-to guy because he'll know. Otherwise, I'll just have to start all over again with another vet, and they'll want their own x-rays. You know, I know that's what they'll want, unless they'll take his. Anyway, so I that's my update on Buddy. So I, I'm praying that he is going to be all right on what I have him on. The hemp oil and the aspirin seem to be helping him feel okay. But I still have to hold him like a baby and feed him. And I made him two bibs last night. So, 
to keep the food off of his fur. He's my little fur baby. Anyway, so I'm just thinking positive that we're going to end up going to heaven together. Or on the same day. However it works out. I'm not sure. The Lord just told me that shortly after the angels would come for the pets. And they would go willingly. They wouldn't be scared. And I know he sees our angel. Because he'll just stop and he'll start staring. And he'll just have this look on his face like. I don't know, I can't, you know, it's like, almost like amazement, bewild bewildered, but not in a like, huh, what's, more like a happy, what is that kind of a look, I, it's hard to, I can't do it, but anyway, that's, that's what I'm hoping and praying for, that he can just live with it. And if it grows bigger up this way, fine. I'm just praying it doesn't grow inward. That's what I'm going to be praying for because there's no way you can cut it off. Even if I had the money because it would ruin so, I mean, it would go up into so much tissue. And then, anyway, no sense getting into all that. We're not going there. I'm putting him in the hands of the great physician. And Jesus and Father will know exactly what he needs and will provide. That's what I believe. Okay. So I'm going to end this little update on Buddy here and say I will talk to you later. Okay. Bye for now.